it really does help me if you let the video run all the way to the end. And at the end of this video, there's also a rice recipe of a rice that I like to put my stroganoff over. So if you are liking the video, hit the thumbs up down below. And if you have any questions, any comments, or maybe you, you do something different in your recipe, comment down below. I'd love to hear about it. This is a recipe that I want to share with you. It's my Aunt Kareen's beef stroganoff. It's so yummy. And I have always enjoyed it uh, from the time I was really little um, all the way till now. I've always asked my sister to make it again and again and again. And now my son asked, will you make that stroganoff, Aunt Kareen's stroganoff? And so I, of course, had to message my sister and ask her for the recipe again because, of course, I can't hang on to a recipe to save my life. And so she sent the recipe over and we made it. And it's really yummy and we'd like to share it with all of you. So there are a few adjustments that we've made over the years. One is my Aunt Crean always used canned mushrooms. Uh, we use fresh mushrooms, we saute them down and we add them to the pot. Um, and another thing is that I don't always use the same beef and that's completely okay. Um, sometimes I use what's on sale, uh, sometimes I use a meat just because it's already chopped down by the butcher. Um, in this instance, I went to Costco of course and got my meat and it's a really good beef that was already cut into strips and so I guess my point is, it doesn't have to be exactly to the recipe. I hope that some of the tips that I give throughout the video help you out and yeah, let's make some stroganoff.
then I'm gonna shake it. I really hope that you'll enjoy Aunt Cream's stroganoff. It really is yummy. And now it's time to stride on. Uh oh. <laughs> 